Welcome to the Good Morning Show. In today's program, we're going to be talking to Hillary Clinton. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong picture. We've clearly made a mistake. <gasps> Hi everyone, I'm Vicky and I'm British. And I'm Jay and I'm American. And this lesson's about things you can say when you make mistakes. Where should we start? <laughs> well, the first thing we say is often an expletive. She means expletive. Expletive. <laughs> the pronunciation's different in British and American. Say expletive. An expletive is a word that shows you're angry or upset. <gasps> oh! The next thing you'd say is not polite. Yeah, expletives are generally rude words. I'm sure you know these ones. They're common curse words. Be careful though, because they are very rude. Yes, don't say them to your boss or people you don't know well. What are some polite alternatives? Hmm. I've heard some people say, oh, bother. But that's normally if it's a small thing. Oh, bother. I've spilt my tea. Bother sounds very British. In the US, we might say, shoot. Oh, shoot. I left my wallet at home. Again, we say this for small mistakes. Yes, if you want to add some emotion, I think damn is a useful word. Is it rude? It's a little rude, but it's better than the curse words if you're at work or something, and it shows you're upset. Oh, damn, I forgot to put petrol in the car. Damn. I just made a mistake. What? I just sent everyone the wrong dates for the meeting. Notice that Jay said, I just made a mistake. We use the verb make with mistake. In some languages, it's do a mistake, but not in English. Yes, so don't make that mistake with mistake. Make a mistake, both start with the letter M. Perhaps that will help you remember. Okay, now there are other ways to say, I've made a mistake. Yes, we often use phrasal verbs. Let's see one in action. Oh no, I've screwed up again. What have you done? I forgot to press save before I closed the document. He's always screwing up like that. The verb is screw up. It's slang and it's a bit rude. Again, you probably don't want to say it to your boss, but there's another verb you could use instead. Mess up. Oh, can I try it? Okay, but be careful. It's taken me ages to get this far. Don't mess it up. Okay. Oh, sorry. Mess up means to do something badly. It's a phrasal verb again, and it's more polite than screw up. And another phrase you can use is by mistake. What? I drank your coffee by mistake. How much sugar is in that? Five teaspoons. I like it sweet. So by mistake means by accident. Hi. Hi, your paycheck has arrived. Oh, good. Hey, somebody's already opened this. Yeah, sorry, I opened it by mistake. You didn't earn as much as me last month. So by mistake, by accident. 
by mistake means you didn't intend to do it. Or did you? <laughs> now the word mistake is a noun here, but it can be a verb too. And then it means you think one thing is another. For example, you have to keep your pills safe because children might mistake them for candy. Mistake is an irregular verb. Mistake, mistook, mistaken. Oh, Mary! Do we know each other? Oh, sorry, I mistook you for someone else. No problem. I mistook you for someone else means I thought you were one person, but you were another. Yes. It sounds a little formal to me. I think normally I'd say it differently. Oh, Mary! Do we know each other? Oh, sorry, I thought you were someone else. No problem. That sounded more natural. Yes. And there's another thing we often say when we've made a mistake. What? Sorry. Let's look at how we do that. Who designed these calendars? Oh, I did. Do you like them? How many copies did you print? Oh, I don't know. I ordered 500. Is there a problem? Yes. Look at February. There are 30 days. Oh, it's a mistake. I'm so sorry, Kathy. It's my fault. I didn't notice. It's my fault, too. I didn't check it before it went to the printers. We're both at fault. Yes. 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's a very useful phrase. When we say, it's my fault, we're saying we're responsible. We accept the blame for what went wrong. We admit we did the wrong thing. And if we don't want to accept responsibility, we can use the negative. You need to do this again. Why? It's full of spelling mistakes. It's not my fault. My spell checker doesn't work. Then use a dictionary. Hmm. So, it's not my fault means it's not my responsibility. Don't blame me. Fault is an uncountable noun here, so it has no plural form. But the word fault has other meanings where it's countable. For example? Well, people can have faults. Good luck with your presentation. Are you nervous? No, I'm going to be fantastic. They'll love me. Jay may have some faults, but lack of confidence isn't one of them. So here, faults is plural, and it means the bad or weak parts of someone's character. I don't really have many faults. <laughs> yeah, right. And faults can also mean other things that are wrong. Machines can have faults. Faults are things that stop them working correctly. A fault in the design. A structural fault. You need to use the other copier. This one's not working. Really? Why not? They think it's an electrical fault. Hmm. <laughs> Told you. Okay, I think it's time to review, don't you? Yes. Let's see what you can remember. When we make a mistake, the first thing we say is often an expletive. <laughs> or an expletive. An expletive is usually a swear word or curse word, but there are some more polite alternatives. For example, in the UK, we could say, oh, bother. And in the US, we could say, oh, shoot. Here's a really useful one. Oh, damn. We usually use the word mistake with the verb make. And we use phrasal verbs too, like I've screwed up. And we can also say I've messed up. If we think we're responsible for a mistake, we'll say it's my fault. And if we think we're not responsible, we'll say, it's not my fault. 
And that's it. Now you know what to say when you've screwed up and made a mistake. If you found this video useful, please share it with a friend. And make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you next Friday, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.